In the previous video we had seen that acids are substances that release hydrogen ions in water and bases are substances that release hydroxide ions in water. Organic acids can be identified by their taste but the mineral acids which are usually colorless in nature cannot be identified by just looking at them. Also tasting them can be dangerous because we know that concentrated acids or bases are corrosive in nature. So, how to identify acids and bases if we cannot use our sense of vision or taste? That is where the role of indicators come. Indicators are substances that show one particular color in an acidic medium and another color in a basic medium. Hence, an indicator is a substance or a compound that can identify acid and base through color change. Some common types of indicators are natural indicators, synthetic indicator, olfactory indicators and universal indicator. Let us discuss one by one in detail. Natural indicators. As the name suggests, indicators obtained from natural sources are called natural indicators. We know turmeric and china rose are parts of plant. What about litmus? Let's look. Litmus is a very common acid base indicator used in school laboratories for experiments. Litmus is available in the form of solution or paper. Litmus is actually extracted from lichens. We know lichens is a symbiotic association between algae and fungi. Let's look what happens when an acid and a base is introduced to litmus paper. These are blue and red litmus paper. Let's perform a litmus test for an alkali and an acid. The alkali or the base taken here is ammonium hydroxide and the acid taken here is HCl hydrochloric acid. Take blue litmus paper and add few drops of HCl on it. Observe what happens. The blue litmus paper has changed to red in color. The experiment is again repeated with red litmus paper. Observe if there is any change happening on it. We observe that there is no change taking place when acid is added to red litmus paper. Now let's see the action of alkali on the red litmus paper. So when you add a few drops of alkali or a base on red litmus paper, you can observe that the red litmus paper has changed the color to blue. Repeat the experiment with blue litmus paper and observe if there is any color change happening on it. You observe that there is no change in color when alkali is added to blue litmus paper. So let's conclude our observations. So acids change blue litmus to red and bases change red litmus to blue. The next indicator that we are going to discuss is turmeric. You might have seen that the spot of turmeric or gravy on cloth becomes red when soap is applied on it. This is because turmeric acts as an indicator of base in soap. Turmeric turns brick red color in basic solution but remains yellow in acidic solution. Another natural indicator is the china rose indicator. China rose indicators are very easy to make. Put some petals of red hibiscus in hot boiling water. Keep it some time so that the color of red petals get infused in water. Your china rose indicator is ready. China rose indicator gives a pink or magenta color for acidic solutions and green color in basic solutions. Red cabbage is also a natural indicator which shows different color in acidic, basic and neutral medium. Synthetic indicators Indicators which are synthesized in laboratory are known as synthetic indicators. The most common synthetic indicators used in laboratories for school experiments are phenolphthalein, methyl orange and methyl red. Phenolphthalein is a colorless indicator. When added to acid, phenolphthalein remains colorless in acidic and neutral solutions. Whereas phenolphthalein turns to bright pink in color in basic solution. Methyl orange. Methyl orange is another synthetic indicator which shows different color in acidic and basic medium. On adding to acid, methyl orange changes its color to red 
and in base it changes its color to yellow some substances change their smell when mixed with acid or base such indicators are known as olfactory indicators olfactory indicators identify acids and bases through the change in the smell onion vanilla clove are examples of olfactory indicators most of these olfactory indicators retain their smell in an acidic medium but loses their smell in the basic medium hope now you are very clear with the indicators and its color change in acidic and basic medium yes we are left with universal indicator which will be discussed in detail in another video thank you for watching the video if you like the video share this video among your friends press the like button drop your comments in the comment section subscribe the channel to get more content of class 8 9 10 science